let's do our fourth match of the quadrant tournament match against 8000 d 6k so uh he is an ironclad and i think ironclad is super duper dangerous so let's find out how uh, well our swarm deck will hold at least we have a super duper opening with Mirt. so uh, without any uh, delay let's uh, start playing that one and then think about what to cycle obviously it will be lasting remains it's just too expensive i guess all right he also gives us the handshake and uh well let me tell you a bit about his deck he's running he has like the green prototypes destructor bots dr mia with true shot post he also runs unstable build wild saber balls fell flares melodious sisters windmakers chaotic people debug loggers and twilight prowlers so he has a lot of good stuff going on for him let's cycle this one out hopefully for another two drop that will be the best i guess <clears throat> yeah do we want to go for devastators i don't think we care that much but going for this and for a spare dragonling might be a bit meh we need to start defending right so what is a good option we can do this is basically four strength oh well, let's uh, do it like this i think this might be okay for now maybe it's a bit greedy but who knows hopefully once we'll survive we will play something so we can play edric the fierce and stable build doesn't matter that much it will just die eventually automatically so let's don't care about that one what do we have in our hands next turn <laughs> if we got in a good spot we can play queen edric the fierce might stall for some time devastators it's way too slow we had a very good start with mirts <clears throat> when you start with mirts then uh you can expect some damage right and that's what we are getting right now so don't think we're gonna play devs keepers might be out basically this is six and this is seven i think it might be okay to go for display he runs windmakers right so that might be a problem Yeah, we need to be careful of the true shot post actually he might just run a true shot post right here most likely he will wait for the seven mana turn at that point i would like to have a full board of stuff and queen of hurts and uh, dreadful keepers or dread fans i mean are uh, a good way to make that happen <coughs> yeah this is a problem you will get very strong We'll start dealing a lot of damage right now. We'll cycle this one out. Hopefully get something better. Oh, this is actually better, right? Deals with this. And we still might get a lot of damage in. I think we go for the greedy play. And go for this one. Debug Luggers will definitely die. This will be... Uh, a lot of stuff we got devastators and beast of terror hopefully our token is well <coughs> but this is super scary because now we are uh, one hp left and he runs uh, wild saber pals which potentially runs in my base Witmakers is two strength chaotic people so you just saw it in the beginning of the match deals four damage and those are his uh, running we are having definitely a board control at the moment so hopefully uh, we can come back with only 3 HP. Token will definitely help. But we need to cycle into something cheaper or more expensive. I'm guessing we are getting some lasting remains or stuff. <coughs> Just need to have the whole full board. Yeah, this is what he, oh, I was afraid of. At least this is somewhat safe i don't think we use edric at all now we uh, 
can clear this stuff up with another token in our deck, which is amazing. Some more strength, and then we're gonna use uh, uh, Devastators might be good to push for some lethal. Piece of Terror might be good, but he has a lot of unit types, so I think it will be fine to just do it like this. And we also have a dragon now, so if he kills spare dragon links, piece of terror will get buffed for uh, three string. So we're doing link three damage, hopefully. We will need to place it next to it, which is pretty good actually. So we're gonna use devastators for sure now. <coughs> that kills it I'm not sure if we want to any of these go for spare dragon links like windmaker skills this would make us deal damage there like what are the outs he has right If we do this and it buffs this one, then it's uh, very good for us because this is like 5, 9, and it's 11, so we have lethal on board. 9 mana to go through this, dealing. You can only use debug luggers, right? Yeah, that's 5 mana, so use 4 mana to patch this stuff and windmakers. Cannot go further than this, dies from this one. So he needs to start dealing with the, with the board at hand. This one also buffs the Beast of Terror, which is nice. We don't get value here, but I think that is fine, right? Can we die from anything? Like head start. It's so duper scary. Place it here, let's hope it spawns on the right side. <coughs> so this way I'm trying to make it way harder for him to use uh, chaotic people. Now he needs to use windmakers here and then he still has some token here so he cannot move uh, that quick into my base. We still have Tagor and Lasting Remains. So we I think we will win in the end. I guess it's like Twilight Prowlers will just walk in here, right? And then I would have be dead. What is he going to do? So we can basically use Tagor or this right seven mana gets one damage so we won our first match amazing all right our first match is in the pocket gg to him well, our hand is definitely not as good as it was for now we're just gonna play uh, with the dreadful keepers we have a lot of dragons in our hand, so we can hopefully uh, do something good with it. Sadly, we cannot uh, play Beasts of Terror behind Dreadful Keepers. 
Because then Windmakers will definitely kill it off. Yeah, this is so mean. Lean and mean. So this is basically 3 damage. This is fun, it doesn't do much. It's a bit more mana efficient. Basically, if this kills it, it will spawn something right here. Yeah, sadly not enough movement, right? If I had the... Uh, well, I cannot do anything against this. I think I will just go for the piece of terror. A bit more mana efficient. It's a smart move on him. Luckily we get the Dreadful Keeper's 200% uh, value, which is very good. We have a Dragon on our next turn. <clears throat> Hopefully he doesn't have a lot of movement. We can get some nice Edric the Fierce combo going on. Otherwise he might be just rushing for a True Shot post on his baseline. And that will be uh, troublesome to deal with. Since we have nothing and he can just... If he plays it like this... We cannot reach it, so we're gonna use, I guess, spare dragon links to push forward, get it shot, and then slowly uh, moving up. I think he's thinking about the true shot post. Why else would he uh, use a turn timer? Where is he gonna run? <laughs> oh, this is fine by me, I guess. This one is nice, but doesn't do much at the moment. I think we're just gonna shoot it down. We use our head start. Getting some value on the board will be nice. We got our queen, we got our mirrors as well. Yeah, I would like to use queen a bit more aggressive on his side. So the true shot pose some trouble but still this will be six mana for 13 strength it's hard for him to deal with but he's getting at the seven mana turn so i think he's waiting for uh, he's collecting his true shot post and mia getting one damage in isn't that exciting if i were him i would go for board control keep me at bay This is pretty good, I guess. I think he should have put there. I think he's losing somewhat value, right? Because this will move. This might just kill this one. We can go with very YOLO kind of play here. But this is always less. So you just do it like this. This might be a good aggression. You might play true shot pose here. This die is nice. One more strength for beast. And his green prototypes cannot kill a lot easily. Yeah, he will now start shooting me. <clears throat> now we are gonna start uh, using our mirrors, I guess. He's out of mana, so that's good. <laughs> this thing will be super annoying, so we need to keep Devastators in our hand, I guess. Not sure why it 
There's no end turn. Anyways. Yeah, we definitely want to bait out two shot post with Mirts or spare dranglings, I guess. It's five. What else? Two mana cards do we have? Like head start. This might be very good for the aggro kind of stuff. It's just a bit slow though. I think we should go for in the mana efficiency. We have spare dranglings and Tagor next turn. This will die. He <laughs> definitely wants to deal with devastators. <clears throat> That's fine. We got our token. It was the first token, right? So it will take a while. Probably around 10 mana turn. Where you can uh, reap our plus 5 strength. This way we are doing way better. We have 9 uh, life left. Alright, this is something we can kill with Tagor. Will we just go ham? No. Sweet. I think this will be it, right? This is looking amazing for us. Because we will just do our play like this. Go on with chipping him down. Cycle aggressively for the queen. Or for the tokens. Or actually, we're aggressively cycling for both of them. Like he cannot deal with this. My base is safe. We even got a Tagor here to do some good stuff. This is nice. I can kill this off with Beast. Or our last thing remains. Might be good for it as well. Definitely not gonna play Edric. I think we're just going. This is maybe not the most mana efficient. But I like because it's very safe and we are in a very good spot, anyways. We have a still dead rattle here, right? <clears throat> like this is potentially four strength. Spawn or six strength buff. If this one dies and gives six strength, then it will be uh, very good. And otherwise, both of them die. I think we can cycle into Queen if we cycle something. So you might want to cycle Conflicted Drakes in Queen into Beast of Terror or something, or Dreadful Keepers. Depending on a bit what uh, Tegar does. Nice. That's super annoying. So we're gonna cycle this one out. See, there it is. There's our queen. So we're gonna... What are we going to do, actually? I like this play a lot. This might be a bit slow though. But I think it's fine. <clears throat> this dies, it spawns token right here. You got a lot of stuff going on here. You might go in for a true shot post. I think that will be fine. Might not be the best play, to be honest. But I just like to get this dreadful keeper trap. He just played uh, Fell Flash, right? Or at least not so long ago. So I don't expect that one to get a lucky shot off. He might move here, place a stationary unit here, then kill the dreadful keepers. 
but then it will still spawn here. I guess. I'm not sure how the sequence works at that point. Might just get be blocked completely. <laughs> this is also a good one. But this is chaotic pupil, so that's the threat. It's nullified. Yeah, this is a game, I guess. Now we're just gonna start pushing uh, devastators in the corner. Just spam the board, I guess. <laughs> <clears throat> Whatever survives will get hit. Yeah, and our lasting remains in Tagor as well. Like Twilight Prowlers will move here, but he just played his uh, Gaelic Pupils, so I'm not afraid of the 4 damage and then still 5 off, right? We got a Tagor, so we, if he doesn't deal with this. Oh, well, he's obviously dead, because this is 8 damage. <clears throat> if he starts dealing with Dreadful, most likely it will be spawned defensively here as well. And Twilight Proudest will just attack, attack, attack. Let's let those Ravens jump our victory. I think we're doing great. Give him the handshake, because I think he just conceded. Well, he didn't concede, but he just basically didn't do anything in his turn. So, GG. And this is the best out of two, so we won against uh, Eric Bust, also known as 8000D6K. Well played to him. I think I was, uh, had a very good opening hand, and he had really problems uh, finding his true shot post. And his debug loggers value. I think if he had a bit more luck on those two cards, then uh, he would definitely be uh, in a great spot. But I guess uh, the cards were uh, positive in my way. Thank him for playing. Thanks uh, for another quadrant tournament match. Hope you liked. I hope you enjoyed and liked everything. Feel free to uh, put on uh, my misplays in the comment sections and follow my uh, Twitch and uh, YouTube uh, channel. And also I have my own Discord channel, so feel free to come by and chat and let's have some fun together. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Cheers.